My dad was going to take my baby, mine and Cole's. You cannot let him go. Your Honor, there isn't one shred of evidence to substantiate this charge. He confessed to me. Your Honor, you have just dismissed the charges against my client. And allowed Miss Delgado a lot, and I mean a lot of latitude in the witnesses that she was allowed to question. People think it's only fair that you give us equal time to consider these charges. Your Honor, Ms. Manning is obviously displeased by your decision and has concocted this I story. did not concoct anything. Then she was coached. I was not coached. I am not a child. I'm 16 years old. I know the difference between right and wrong and a lie and the truth. My dad has hurt a lot of people and he has hurt me and I believe that he should answer for that. Fine. But your anger at your father has no remedy here. Your Honor, you and I may disagree about what my dad did to Dr. Saybrook, but there's no disagreeing on what he did to me. He was planning on kidnapping my baby and raising it on his own, and I can prove it. Your Honor, Ms. Saybrook has admitted under oath that Mr. Manning did not kidnap her, did not rape her. Those are separate charges, Your Honor. They have absolutely nothing to do with the fact that Mr. Manning was planning on kidnapping his daughter's child. Except that, like the other charges, there is simply no evidence. Yes, there is. Put me back on the stand. I know all about it. All about what? It never happened. Because she died. That is the only reason he didn't okay. take her is because You're, she died. Your Honor. My daughter is in no shape to testify. To testify. I agree, Your Honor. Ms. Manning is clearly overwrought. I would like to hear what the young lady has to say. <laughs> Your Honor, I can't let you do this. My daughter is not strong enough. She just lost her baby. Ms. Manning, you raised a legitimate objection a few moments ago. And I'd be happy to allow you to state your case. But not if you're not up to it. I am okay, Your Honor. Star. I can do this. Your Honor, are you really going to let these adolescents Shanghai this proceeding? You are about to release yeah, my client. God forbid the victims should be able to state their case. What victims? Miss Manning has already stated that her baby died in childbirth. And Miss Saybrook... Guy was denied her day in court. Ladies, approach. And when were you going to tell me this? I wasn't between me and dad. Star. Your father confessed to you that he was going to steal your baby and you weren't going to tell me. What good would that have done? Star, listen to me. You cannot keep any secrets that your father has from me, all right? That's how he operates with lies and secrets. Okay. And I know that you were trying to protect me, and I appreciate that, but that's not your job. I'm supposed to protect you. And what if you can't? I know what it's like to lose a child, sweetheart. I know you feel like there's no justice. Look what it did. Poor Dr. Joplin. She felt so guilty that she took her own life. But you have to be human to feel that deeply, and your father, he doesn't feel anything. Mom. Star, that's why you have to tell me this kind of stuff, all right? Look what he did to you. All the pain that he caused you and Cole and Cole's mother. And there he is sitting there with no remorse, sitting there waiting for his lawyer to get him off. That's all he cares about. That's why it has to stop, sweetheart. It has to stop. And that's why I need to testify so that he pays. You for a minute. What is it? When you found me in Angel Square and, and I was, you know, because of all the charges being dropped and, and my mom flipping out, I, I don't want you to think that you have to go after your dad or that you owe me. It was the truth. That was our baby. My dad was going after our little girl, okay? And yeah, we weren't planning on raising her, but that doesn't change the fact of who she was. I'm doing this for you and me, but most importantly, for Hope. I also, I don't want you to think that... I mean, I know what I said and, and how mad I was, but... I, I would never shoot your dad. I mean, I just wouldn't do that. I mean, he's your dad, and no matter what he does, you, you still love him. He doesn't love me. 
Even though he says he does, I know he doesn't. He couldn't. Not if he was planning on stealing our baby. He's messed up. It's more than that, Cole. When I made my decision that I was going to have Marcy adopt our child, he didn't like it, and neither did you. But you respected my decision, and you learned to understand it. He didn't. Instead, he made a plan to take my baby and raise her. He just wants what he wants. But if I can stop him, then I'm going to do it. I just... I don't want you to feel guilty. Later, if he goes to jail, that you put him there. He put himself there. And that's where he belongs. I know I worry too much, but... I know she's strong, but she just lost the baby and she's raw, John. I know why she wants to do it. But it's not right. It's not fair. Why should she be the one to go after her father like that? If she stands up to him, she'll finally be free of him. I swear if that bitch goes after her star I'll while stop she's on... And risk a contempt citation... Star Manning is hereby called to the stand. The heads up. Star. Please tell us in as much detail as possible what your father said. Would you like me to start from the beginning? Ooh, as tempting as that would be to have a full account of everything you've suffered at the hands of your father. No, thank you. Just confine yourself to the details of the kidnapping. Objection. There was no kidnapping, Just Your Honor. Just tell me what happened, Ms. Manning. Okay. Uh, after Marty was rescued... Oh, okay. Objection. Miss Saybrook Counselor, was never held against her will. Therefore, there Please hold your objections. Your Honor, the defense has a right to... This isn't a trial, Miss Delgado. This is a hearing. Now, you've had your day in court. Sit down. Please continue, Miss Manning. So, after Marty was rescued by Lieutenant McBain... She told us that my dad had told her that I was planning to give away my baby, which was true. But I decided for Marcy McBain to adopt my child. We had already worked out the legal stuff and everything. But Dr. Saybrook said that my dad told her that I had asked him to adopt my child, which never happened. And my dad knows very well that I would never want him to raise my baby. At first, when I heard this, I couldn't believe it. My dad has done a lot of terrible things, but I just assumed that because I was his daughter, that he you would You are my daughter. I'll say it. You are my daughter. I am not. Todd. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. 